Hey guys, Peugeot here. Welcome to another guide. Today I'm going to talk about an interesting feature of the game and that is the photo album. And I'm doing a guide about it because recently there have been some new features that I wanted to show. And of course it would be very interesting for you to see how you can boost your stats. So first of all, let me show you where it is. You can see it on the lower right here and this is basically the photo album or the album collection that you can see and each album is basically containing a chapter so the album collection basically contains eight chapters which represent the eight seasons of the game of thrones series and so far we have four of them released into the game and each one has 10 photos and of course to collect each photo to unlock it you need to get the fragments which is not always easy let me show you first season one now this is season one i have collected all the photos each photo contains 10 fragments when you get all 10 fragments then you unlock it and you get a buff as you can see the death of john arin has a buff of speed up time building speed resource protection bonus and so on but there are other different buffs as you can see in the different pictures it could be really anything troop attack it could be like production bonus army size bonus hospital capacity anything then when you collect all of the photos from the album then all the extra fragments that you're going to collect you can use them to level up that chapter that season and this happens right here on the bottom left as you can see my first chapter is level 10 so when we go there there are 10 levels to level up you need to basically use fragments and each level would require more of them and the further you progress with the levels the more bonuses you unlock as you can see here at the first level you are getting some very very little bonuses but as you progress to level 2 3 4 up to level 10 then you get some significantly bigger bonuses what you need to do is to unlock every single photo in each of the chapters and then you will be able to start leveling up to get the extra stats that's great but then of course i'm sure you're going to ask how do you get the fragments and that is of course a great question let me first show you how they look for example the unsullied there are as i have shown you many ways to obtain those fragments and when you haven't yet completed a certain photo you will see there is a source the source will show you where you can obtain the fragments and here for example in this season this photo you can get the fragments from the all-out war buying the chests which can drop a random fragment and then when you get all 10 fragments it's unlocked however there are some more tricky ones and not every fragment is so easy to get some of them are limited to certain events and these events are happening maybe once every few months you can get only a few fragments so it can take a very long time other fragments are obtained quite easily like from for example today we have the best effort you see that it gives shards for death of john arin but we have millions of those we don't really need that those ones are easy another way where you can get some fragments would be through the shop in the recruitment pass there are some of them from first and second season but there are really so many ways that you can get fragments i won't be even able to count all of them even on the alliance conquest valor shop and in the token shop as well you can see there are basically you go to the album and you check where exactly you can obtain the fragment now of course it is very important to mention that you're not going to get all the fragments like one two three four five up to ten it's not as simple as that basically when you get a chest that can drop a fragment it drops a random number and the thing is that 
in order for you to get the right numbers, you need to trade. I started with a thumbtack and traded my way to a telescope. How do you trade? Basically, you click on the shard that you need. Let's say this one. Then it opens a trading window. This is the shard you want. And then you can choose up to four different shards that you already have to trade for. And then what do you do? Let's say we choose these four and we post the request. We can post it to the Alliance chat or we could post it to a friend that we have spoken to and they agreed to trade a specific shard. Let's say if they have it, then let's say we post it to the Alliance chat. So what the others will see when we go into the Alliance chat, they will see this trade request. I need this shard, I offer one of those. So whoever sees that request, it will be valid for eight Eight hours if they have the shirt and they need one of those that you're offering they can click and the exchange is done and it's important to mention that you can do three exchanges per day doesn't matter who initiated it three exchanges is your limit and since you won't be able to scroll through the entire alliance chat all the time the new feature i wanted to show you is here down to the left where it says redeem when you click redeem you can see all active trade posts in the Alliance chat and this way it would be much easier for you to see what is going on. At the moment it's just me and one other trade but sometimes whenever new shards are released you can see a lot more requests. So that is how you trade and then you can trade your duplicate fragments and get the ones that you need. Usually the way you go about this is that you write in your discord which one you need and then some other guy can say hey I have the shard make a post in the alliance chat and I'll do the trade. Alternatively you can go into the topic channel right here and as you can see people are posting that they are looking for certain shards and they have certain shards to trade as well. That is also a great way to do it and when you have completed everything you get the bonus stats, you level up and you enjoy. That is how the photo album works. If you like this video leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, see you on the next one. Thank you.